Hello everyone, this is Black Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the karmic. Um, this is the karmic's weekly reading, so the karmic could be a male or a female. So please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Um, some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid, so this reading can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line in time after this week, or this present reading could be past energy. If this present reading is past energy, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So I did get messages during the pre-shuffle. And I heard um, damning evidence and um, something could be coming full circle. And I picked up several scenarios. So the karmic could have did something in the past. It could have happened last year. The karmic could have did like a hit and run. And maybe the karmic has court for something that they did last year. The karmic could have court this week. Um, and it could be damning evidence against the karmic. I also put picked up the, the scenario. Um, the karmic could have been cheating on their lover in the past. The karmic got caught in the past. And the karmic might get caught this week cheating. And I heard this with the same lover. I mean, it's with the same third party. So, um, it's going to be proven this week that the karmic is irresponsible. So, this karmic could have been drinking and driving, did a hit and run. Or the karmic could be a serial cheater or something. I heard something's coming full circle and damning evidence that this karmic has a lack of accountability. Careless about the consequences of their actions. You can't rely on them. So, this karmic is unreliable. I also just heard this karmic could give us... Could be given some type of um, false testimony in court. This could be 3D or 5D court. But this karmic could be, um, might get exposed as a, a false witness or something. Or given a false testimony or a false statement. These karmics might get um, exposed. This karmic could also be intimidated. Or somebody could be intimidated by the karmic. Because somebody might find out the karmic was lying. And this person going to look at the karmic like this. When they find out the, how irresponsible the karmic is. Or because the karmic was intimidated, the karmic could have lied. Or something. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and jump into the reading. So for the display cards for the karmic, I'm going to pull a karmic overall energy or overall message from this deck. And I'm going to pull a message from this deck for the karmic. Alright, what's the karmic's overall message or, and or energy for this week? Your inner peace, it came out sideways. So this karmic could be having a hard time with some type of inner peace. Because somebody else could be protected. Or the karmic is not sure about how much protection they have. I heard this karmic could have been trusting somebody with like car insurance. And this karmic could have got finessed in something to do with car insurance. So I don't know if the karmic was reliant on someone to like pay their car insurance every month. Or something. Or the karmic could have something. I just heard the karmic is not sure of how much protection they have. And I heard car insurance. So I don't know. This karmic could have been um, hoping somebody else would pay their car insurance or something. Or something. Something to do with car insurance. But this karmic don't know what type of car insurance they have or something. So this karmic has somebody else doing something for them. That's why they don't know. Or something. Because this karmic could be irresponsible. It's like this karmic be wanting people to do stuff for them. Or something. Alright. Give me a message for the karmic. Something might also be over. It's like the karmic could have been lying about something. It's like the karmic might... The karmic could be going through exposure, emotional upheaval. But it's like the karmic going to be happy something is just over. The karmic just wanted something to be over. So this could be the karmic cheating on a spouse. And the karmic spouse might finally find out. Um, or it's like the karmic was going through a trial in court and it's like the karmic don't care if they, if the karmic don't really care if they get found guilty or innocent, this karmic just want this something to be over. Yeah. Or something like that. Okay. Give me a message for the karmic. Ooh. 
Yeah. Candy cane angel is time for a treat. So the karmic could have been trying to take somebody's treat away from them. Yeah. So I'm picking up. It's time for somebody else to. It's time for somebody else to have a treat. And the karmic's energy. The karmic could have been trying to take something from somebody. This karmic could have been trying to um, blame something on somebody. That it wasn't their fault. Somebody could be 73, 37. Or the number 9 could be significant. The number 73 or the number 37. So the karmic could have been trying to offend somebody that's 37. Or the karmic could have been trying to blame something on a child, a 9-year-old or something. <laughs> but it's time for a treat. It's for somebody in the karmic's energy other than a karmic. The karmic could have been trying to take somebody's treat from them. And the karmic could be grumpy this week. The karmic going to be grumpy. Because somebody else might get a miracle. Or the karmic going to be grumpy because they didn't get a miracle or something like that. It could be a third party that might get this karmic in trouble or something. Or this karmic going to get caught out because it was a middleman or something. Or somebody could have, it's like the karmic could have, something to do with car insurance. It's like this karmic could have been giving somebody else the money to pay for their car insurance. And the karmic might find out that this person didn't, didn't pay their car insurance. So if this karmic got into an accident in the past or in this week, it's like the karmic not going to have no car insurance and the karmic didn't know. Because the karmic was like trusting somebody else to pay their car insurance or something. Something. Or the karmic wants somebody to lie for them. And this person going to be like, no. Somebody might tell the karmic, no. <laughs> Yeah. This could be the karmic or somebody else. Dullness, disappointment, isolation. Yeah. This karmic, um, if this karmic was getting like a mental evaluation in the past, the results of the karmic's mental evaluation might come back um this week. So this karmic could be in some type of facility. Um Something to do with me mental health or something like that. Karmic. Well, the karmic could be in some type of rehab or something. All right. Give me some messages for the karmic this week. Yeah, the karmic going to be pissed off this week about something. Or somebody going to be pissed off at this karmic. But I think it's the karmic. The karmic could be upset about an offense that they could have done. Some type of madness, unpleasantness. Yeah, the karmic might find out that somebody finessed them. The karmic could have been trusting somebody else with their car insurance or something. And this person probably is like, this karmic going to find out they don't have car insurance or something. This karmic could be 74, 47. Well, a child, a child or something might tell on this karmic or something. Something could be going on with a child. <laughs> Yeah, memory. Yeah, the karmic could be mad that somebody remembers something. So something could be going on legally. This could be an eyewitness in a court case. And somebody remembers something. And this karmic pissed off. Maybe the karmic was thinking that somebody would forget. And somebody like, uh-uh. Something could have been going on with drunk driving. This week on the past, the karmic could have, something could have been going on with a car accident. And the karmic might find out that this person actually passed away. The karmic going to be pissed off. Because it's like their charge is going to get, it's going to make the, the charges against them worse. Because somebody could have passed away. The karmic going to be pissed off. Yeah, some type of commitment. Yeah. Binding obstruction contract. Yeah. Or the karmic, yeah. Something to do with some type of insurance. Um, the karmic might lose, like, their freedom to something. This could be the freedom to drive. Um, somebody might drop the karmic from, like, their car insurance or something like that. Or somebody is adamant um, to testify against the karmic or something. It's like this person, like, if I don't know nothing else, karmic, I'm telling on you or something. Somebody has a, a memory. 
And it's like this person is committed to um, getting karmic justice or telling the truth. And this karmic could have lied and somebody else committed to telling the truth or something. Something going on with some type of insurance. It could be car insurance, life insurance, homeowners insurance, something like that. Or this karmic could be mad about something they remember. Or this karmic can't get something out they had. A blessing. Yeah. So this karmic thought that they was going to be able to get something. Or take something from somebody. And it's not going to work for the karmic. The karmic could have been committed to getting some type of blessing. That probably didn't belong to them. Or this karmic could have been in like competition with someone. Or the karmic was trying to steal something from somebody. But this week is going to become like just a memory. Or all the work the karmic did to obtain this blessing is going to come to nothing. So the karmic could have been trying to take something from somebody or steal something from somebody. Or something. Clarify Fury. Yeah, strategy. So this karmic could be upset because the strategy that they was doing is not working. The karmic was planning. Um, the karmic could be a tarot reader, a fortune teller. Don't have to be. Or the karmic could be upset that somebody predicted something. And it was true or something. The karmic could be upset that a prediction came true. Or somebody in the past, this karmic could have got a tarot reader in the past. Or somebody told the karmic not to do something. And um, say like this karmic got a tarot reader in the past. And the tarot reader told the karmic to like not do something. Or it's like this karmic didn't take somebody's advice that predicted something. And now the karmic mad. So this could be a tarot reader that the karmic was interacting with. Or just a person in general. And the karmic could have, somebody could have told the karmic, don't do this, don't do that, or something. If I remember. Or somebody just tricked, it's like the karmic was trying to finesse someone, but it's like this person finessed the karmic. So I'm going to give an example. Say like the karmic was trying to blackmail somebody, and the karmic was like, you're going to pay my car insurance for the next three months, and that's the end of it, because I said so. It's like this person didn't argue with the karmic because the karmic could be a little arrogant or the karmic was trying to blackmail this somebody. Whoever the karmic was trying to bully, it's like this person didn't argue with the karmic. It's like the karmic just going to find out the, the hard way that this person didn't do what the karmic told them to do. It's like the karmic was thinking that this person was paying their car insurance and the karmic going to find out that this person did it. So the karmic could be pissed off about somebody else's strategy. And this person was like, I'm not going to argue with the karmic. I'm not paying the karmic's car insurance for the next three months. Or something like that. What if I remember? Yeah, confinement. Somebody could be, um, there's some type of reversal as well. The karmic's freedom could just be a memory. The karmic might learn a hard, a hard lesson about anger, their anger issues. The karmic could have said something out of anger. They might regret it. Something might become a memory. Um, the karmic might experience some type of confinement, 3D or 5D, because somebody else remembers something. Or somebody passed away. Um, or the karmic is mad about something that's in their head that they can't get out their head. So this could be some type of unforgiveness. The karmic don't want to forgive someone. Or the, somebody beat the karmic at their own game. The karmic could have in the past falsely got somebody put in jail. And this person that was falsely accused might get let out of jail this week. So it's like somebody's no longer going to be confined. Or somebody that could have offended the karmic like long, 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 long time ago could be getting out of jail. So say like somebody, um, whatever happened to the karmic, it could have happened like 20, 30 years ago. And the karmic is finding out that their offender is getting out of jail this week. And this person could have did 20 years or 30 years or something like that. 
So this could be the person getting out of jail. It's like they did their time. And the karmic was mad because the karmic was like, somebody shouldn't get paroled or... This person could have did harm to the karmic's loved one or something. Or something. Or the karmic don't want somebody to get out of jail. The karmic probably wanted somebody to get death row or get life. Or something. Or somebody already did their time. This person could have had 20 or 30 years. And they getting out of jail this week. And the karmic could be pissed off. I mean, which is understandable. It depends on the situation, though. That is understandable. It depends. So, I'm going to give you an example. Say, like, this person did a crime with the karmic family member. It's like this person and the karmic family member did a robbery together. But in the midst of the robbery, the karmic family member passed away. But this person didn't. Since this person didn't pass away, this person went to jail. And they did their time and they getting out of jail this week. And the karmic pissed off. But it's like this person did their time. I don't know if the karmic mad because the karmic feel as though this person sh should have passed away instead of their family member or something. Or something. Oop. Yeah, the karmic wanted a gift. This could be about a gift. The karmic wanted to take something from somebody and they're not going to be able to. Or I heard ain't nobody getting it. So some type of souvenir, a promotion, or some type of delight. I heard the karmic is not getting this gift or nobody's getting it. Or something like that. Or it's going back to his rightful owner or something. This karmic mad. Yeah, some type of loneliness. This karmic could have been, uh, what do you call that? Um, um, admitted. This could have been like to a mental facility, a rehab place, um, something. Yeah, somebody might suggest for this karmic to get a mental evaluation, um, this week or in the past, somebody suggested that the karmic, somebody made the karmic get a mental evaluation and the results might come back and the karmic will be pissed off. Because the karmic was committed to something or the karmic could have, it's like the this karmic thinks something is theirs that's not theirs. And because the karmic was committed to doing something that was a little bit delusional, it's like this karmic isolated or something. Clarify blessing. This karma was trying to take somebody's blessing from them. Look at this. That's the karmic trying to take somebody's blessing. Or the karmic wanted a blessing, but the karmic went, went about it the wrong way. The, the karmic could have did something a little extreme in the past or this week. The karmic did something extreme. And it's going to make somebody question the karmic's mental state. Because the karmic went, did, went left or something. There's something extreme. Yeah. Accident. This could be baby daddy, baby mama drama. This, I heard misuse of funds. So the karmic's um, child's mother or child's father could be taking the karmic to court. The karmic could have spent... All their child's money. The karmic child could have gotten into an accident. And got some money. And the karmic took their child's money or something. And the karmic's child or the karmic's other child's other parent might be taking the karmic to court or something. So this karmic also feels entitled to something. This karmic also feels entitled. Somebody could have got a blessing because they were in a car accident or something. Or some type of injury happened to somebody. And this karmic wanted to take something from somebody. Or something was a blessing in disguise. I see that too. A blessing in disguise. The karmic could have offended someone. The karmic could have caused danger or injury to someone. And this person getting a blessing. And this karmic pissed off. Yeah. 
Yeah, this karmic could have did something to somebody. And it was the karmic going to realize that their offense to this person was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, look, somebody might get some money here yeah, because of this karmic. So, I'm going to give an example. Say, like, this karmic stole somebody's car. It's like this person might put up a GoFundMe page for, like, 5000 But this person going to get, like, 20000 because this karmic could have offended somebody. And somebody could have put up a GoFundMe, to, a GoFundMe page. It's like the karmic wanted somebody to be broke. But it's like this person is going to be compensated for the karmic's uh, offense towards them. And this karmic going to jail or something. Or it's like when somebody get out of jail, they have money or funds available to them. And the karmic don't like that or something. Mm-hmm. Somebody could have, the karma could have been trying to steal somebody's vacation money. It's like somebody going to get some money and they're going on a trip at, in adventure or traveling. Yeah, something could be about car insurance or something. This karma could have been trying to make somebody pay their car insurance or something. Something. This could be the karmic's uh, lover. It's like the karmic be cheating on a lover, be having men or women, the third parties in the car. And the karmic was cheating on a lover and trying to make their lover pay their car insurance. And the karmic's lover was like, I'm not arguing with that crazy karmic. I'm not paying the karmic's car insurance so the karmic can cheat on me. Or something. And it's like the karmic is being confined and the karmic's lover is free to drive or travel or something. Or well, this karmic don't like the work and be trying to make somebody pay their car insurance or something. Or well, this karmic can't go on some type of adventure because the karmic could be on like on parole or something. So the karmic's lover or family member or friends could be going on an adventure and the karmic can't go. Yeah. Or the, yeah, this karmic. <laughs> Like that, it's coming. Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Page of Wands, Three of Cups. Hmm. Queen of Wands, the King of Cups, the Magician, and Eight of Cups, yeah. Yeah, this karmic could have been taking somebody for granted. This is like, um, say like the karmic had a lover. It's like the karmic's lover used to get up and go to work every day. And while the karmic's lover was at work, this karmic would cheat on their lover while their lover was at work. Like, something like that. It's like the karmic's lover was collaborating, doing something. Or this karmic could have been somebody's fiancé, and it's like the karmic was cheating on their fiancé or something. The karmic's lover could be a go-getter. The karmic's lover could be very um, sexually attractive, sex appeal. Is the car it's like the karma took somebody for granted. The Queen of Wands could be very determined, a go-getter, very responsible, reliable as well. And this Queen of Wands was collaborating concerning a soulmate connection. And while the Queen of Wands was collaborating, it's like this karmic was being a page of wands with the third party. This karmic could have been got caught texting someone, emailing somebody, the third party. Or this karmic got caught gossiping. This karmic might also get caught through text messages concerning um, cheating and love and romance or some type of legalities. It's like that could be the damning evidence because somebody found text messages. So it's like the karmic is the page of wands and was offending the queen of wands because the karmic was gossiping or cheating. And this person really loved the karmic or cared about the karmic. So the karmic offended somebody they were in a soulmate connection with. 
because they were being a page and when they should have been being um it's like the karmic's lover is the queen of wands and instead of the karmic being the king of wands this karmic was the page of wands and the queen of wands really loved or cared about this karmic yeah this karmic could be a dj don't have to be this karmic could be a spellcaster um this karmic is the magician The karmic's third party might also tell on this karmic as well. It's like the karmic gonna send somebody a text message. And it's like the third party gonna emotionally walk away from the karmic and probably go tell the karmic spouse. Like the karmic uh, keep texting me, calling me, cheating on me. Or um, somebody have damning evidence against this karmic. Somebody could have sent the karmic's text. Some, the karmic could have sent somebody a text message. And this person is going to show the authorities what this karmic said in a text message. So the karmic could be a fire sign. Don't have to don't have to be. The karmic could be a fire sign, offended a fire sign, and a water sign might tell on this karmic. The karmic could have also been um biting the hand that feeds them. Or something. So somebody might emotionally walk away from gossiping with the karmic or the karmic's third party is going to emotionally walk away. It's like the karmic going to lose their spouse and their third party, whether the karmic a male or a female. The karmic could have been doing spell work on their third party and the, the karmic spell work not going to work. I also see the karmic could have been on parole probation. The karmic could have got cheating and the, the karmic could have got caught cheating in the past. And the karmic's lover said, okay, just get a new number. Get a new number. Leave the third party alone. It's like the karmic changed their number in the past, but it's like the karmic still found a way to get in contact with their third party. The karmic could have got um a new phone behind their lover's back to call the third party. Um, the karmic could have showed up at a nightclub that the third party be at. It's like this karmic manifested a new idea. And it's, yeah. So I'm hearing something stopped in the past. Something happened in the past. And then it stopped. And then it's like the karmic started back doing something again. And the karmic going to get exposed this week. So this could have been the karmic stopped messing around with the third party. Because they got caught in the past. But it's like the karmic still found a way to get in touch with their third party. In the recent past. And the karmic might get exposed this week. Somebody could be tired of this karmic. Yeah. Somebody's going to emotionally walk away from that three of cups. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a water sign. This karmic could be a fire sign. And this water sign is like, you don't tell me what to do. This water sign like, uh-uh, you don't tell me what to do. Or this karmic was trying to put responsibilities on somebody that wasn't their responsibility. So this eight of cups energy was either saying to the karmic, you don't tell me what to do. Or you don't tell me to do that for you because that's not my, my responsibility. I don't, yeah, it's so many scenarios I see. Yeah, this karma might get caught or something. This week exposed. Yeah. It's like somebody did a favor for the karmic, the queen of wands. It's like the karmic was able to, or it's like somebody could have got the karmic a job. Say like the karmic spouse got the karmic a job. The queen of wands got the karmic a job. But it's like the karmic started stealing from this job, or the karmic started cheating on the queen of wands at this job, or it's like the karmic didn't appreciate something or someone. Or the queen of wands did something for the karmic. And then the karmic was going off to some other people and saying that the queen of wands wasn't doing nothing for them. Or something. Or 
something. The karmic parents might turn their back on the karmic um, or show the karmic tough love this week. The karmic could be an adult, an early adult or an adult. It's like the Queen of Wands is the karmic's mother and the King of Cups is the karmic's father. The karmic's friends could be tired of the karmic as well. The karmic could be like well off. The karmic's mother and father could have got the karmic out of trouble in the past. So say like the karmic is like an early teen, a early adult or a teenager. And the karmic and their friends got into like a car accident or they got arrested for DUI in the past. It's like the karmic's parents was able to afford to get the karmic like a good attorney or something. But the karmic's friends could have gotten in trouble. Because maybe the karmic's friends is not as fortunate as the karmic. It's like... Maybe in the past, the court could have ordered the karmic to stay away from their friends. The court It could have been court ordered that the, the karmic can't hang out with their friends no more. It's like this week, the karmic going to call their friends and say, y'all want to go drink and driving? Y'all want to go steal a car? And the karmic's friends going to... It could be all of the karmic's friends or one of the karmic's friends going to tell on this karmic. So it could be a, re a restraining order or something. And somebody going to walk away and tell on this karmic. Or something. This karma gonna get caught or something. This karma kick might get caught uh, violating a restraining order. Or it's like this karma like a troublemaker or something will be getting their friends in trouble. Or the karmic's friends is like, we not doing nothing with you because when we went to jail, we had to sit there for a month and your parents bonded you out, but our parents didn't bond us out. Karma, I'm not getting in trouble with you. Or something is going to be trying to make people do. And somebody want to tell on that karmic. Yeah, something like that going on. What's the spill with the three of pentacles and the queen of wands? The karma could have also been lying to the king of cups. But it's like the queen of wands going to figure something out first. And the queen of wands is trying to figure out how can they tell the king of cups what the karmic did. So the king of cups can have more love for the karmic than the queen of wands do. And, like, and it's like the king, the queen of wands is tell, telling the king of cups that the karmic did it. The karmic is guilty. And the king of cups don't want to be, believe it or something. But it's like something is staring that king of cups right in the face. Yeah. So the queen of wands and the king of cups could be the karmic's parents or something. Whether the karmic or an adult or, or not. So you're projecting. Yeah. Pointing out the actions of someone else, but really they are the things you do. Yeah. So this karmic could have been projecting on the Queen of Wands. It's like after everything the Queen of Wands did for the karmic, the karmic was still projecting. Or the karmic was lying on the Queen of Wands. The karmic was like, that Queen of Wands don't do nothing for me. That Queen of Wands ain't never do nothing for me or something. Or the karmic, yeah, something. What's this girl with um the two of cups and the king of cups? Yeah, low vibes. Low vibrational person, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring suffering, fear, and anger. Yeah. Yeah, this karma could be ungrateful. It's like the karmic, somebody really cared about the karmic or somebody wanted the best for the karmic or somebody saw the best in the karmic and this karmic didn't appreciate it. 
It's like the karmic, the king of cups really love the karmic and the karmic view that view the king of cups as bad energy. So it's like somebody only wanted the best for the karmic and the karmic was like, uh-uh, that's bad energy. So the king of cups could have been telling the karmic, don't drink and drive, don't drink and drive. And the karmic was like, uh-uh, you don't tell me what to do or I can do what I want to do or something. So the karmic was like, oh, you hating on me or something. That karmic, somebody really loved that karmic. And to the karmic, that's bad energy. So the karmic, like, got stuff twisted. That karmic only the page. And be manifesting. Lord have mercy. What's the spell with the page of wands and the magician? Yeah, karma. This karma getting this the karma getting karma this week. Yeah. Well, the karmic is causing uh somebody that loved them. The karmic is causing this person um to be low vibrational. Um, this person feels dark, dense, heavy, harboring suffering, fear, and anger. So the King of Cups could be hiding their bad energy. Or the King of Cups is hiding the fact that they're disappointed in the karmic or something like that. Some The karmic is going to highly offend or disappoint someone that loves them or care about them. Yeah. Yeah, this karmic getting karma. Or this karmic was trying to give somebody car karma. And somebody going to say, uh-uh. Somebody going to walk away. So this Eight of Cups energy it might be a water sign. The water sign might tell on the karmic. This Eight of Cups could also be the King of Cups. And this person is saying, karmic, you going too far. I'm telling on you. Or something. What's the spell with the um, Three of Cups with the Eight of Cups? Yeah, hidden agendas. Yeah. The karmic always getting people or person in trouble. Or oh, this karmic like live a low life and they don't have to. Because the karmic could be married or the karmic got, um, the karmic's parents is very uh, well off. It's like the karmic live a low life and they don't even have to because of their spouse or their parents. Somebody, is, yeah, this karmic be doing stuff they don't have to do. So this karmic has hidden agendas. And it might be a water sign that I figure out this karmic got hidden agendas. Pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones they revealed. Or the karmic so hell bent on what they want to do. That the karmic don't realize that somebody in their friend group. Or the karmic third party is going to tell on the karmic. Somebody's going to switch up on the karmic. So say like the karmic and their friends used to still, used to still together. And one of the karmic's friends, this person used to say, stop, karmic, we need to stop stealing from people. Like, it ain't right. It's like the karmic is going to invite their friends to set up, to set up this, the, the theft. And this person going to go along only to get the details. And this person going to leave and walk off and tell on that karmic. It's like the karmic didn't perceive why the eight of cups showed up. Like the eight of cups only showed up to get information. And then somebody going back to tell on this karmic or something like that. Because somebody was telling the karmic to stop doing something. Or somebody kept telling the karmic. Stop trying to take my treat. This person could have been telling the karmic, stop trying to take my treat or stop, stop. And the karmic was taking somebody for a fool or taking somebody for granted. This could have even been somebody saying, telling the karmic, stop calling me, stop texting me. So... Say like the karmic blocks, say like somebody blocked the karmic in the past. It's like this week, 
the karmic could have been harassing somebody. This week, this person that was telling the karmic to leave them alone, this person is going to unblock the karmic and let the karmic text them. And when the karmic texts this person, this person is going to tell the authorities or tell the karmic spouse or tell the police or something. Because it's like the karmic do the same thing. So this karmic either be begging for sex or threatening, threatening someone. And somebody was like, karmic, stop calling me, stop texting me, and this person wouldn't stop. So this person might unblock this karmic just to let the karmic hang themselves. And then this person going to go off and tell or something, that eight of cups. Because somebody was telling the karmic to stop doing something. So the karmic could have been underestimating somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the karmic that have hidden agendas or is somebody the karmic keep trying to offend or demeanor or disrespect. It's like this person going to say, okay, all right, karmic. All right. And this person got hidden agendas and they going to set this karmic up or something like that. Somebody get inside of this karmic. Yeah. Or the karmic keep putting a love spell on somebody. The karmic, the, the magician, this karmic be putting spells on people. So collective, you could be the eight of cups. Collective, the karmic could be married and the karmic have, the karmic had you and two other lovers. And it's like collective, you don't want to play with this karmic no more. It's like you could have found out this karmic was married. And then it's like the karmic don't have their spouse under a spell, but the karmic put their third parties under a spell. And collective, you was like, uh-uh, I refuse. I refuse. You ain't, you're not putting me under a spell or something. So collective, I don't know. You might tell the, that queen of wands. You might tell the karmic. You might tell on this karmic or something. Something like that going on with this karmic. Um, collective, if this karmic is a spellcaster, <sighs> the karmic is the page of wands and the karmic could have been working with the king of cups or the karmic had the king of cups try to put you under a spell. So somebody might also confront the king of cups. So collective, I don't know. All y'all probably know each other. Collective is you. You the Eight of Cups, the Karmic, the Page of Wands, the Practitioner is the King of Cups. And all y'all know each other and collective, you're aware that this King of Cups is doing work for the Karmic. And you trying to tell the Karmic to stop. The Karmic not listening, the Karmic being the page, being immature, being the asshole. And collective, you might go to the King of Cups personally and tell the King of Cups, stop allowing the Karmic to come to you. Stop taking the Karmic's money to put spell work on me because it's not working. I don't like the Karmic. So nothing you do is going to work on me. I don't like the karmic. I found out the karmic is married. I don't want the karmic. I'm done with the karmic. So if the karmic bring my name to you, King of Cups, don't do spell work on me. It's very annoying. Can you please stop? Like something like that. That karmic, the page of wands. That karmic could be acting like a, 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 a child. Um, I'm also hearing dark magic or spell work could be new to the, the karmic. And the karmic got like a big head. It's like this karmic can actually go to their victims and say, oh, I put a spell on you, you mine. It's like this karmic be making something so obvious. And collective, you don't think that's funny. So collective, it's like the karmic is that arrogant or the karmic. It's like collective, you might ask the karmic, well, since you always telling me you putting a spell on me, who your spellcaster? Who your practitioner? And collective, this karmic might really have the, the. it's like this karmic going to tell you or something. That karmic, the page of wands. Or this karmic think they all that because they know practitioners. Maybe the karmic's mother and father are is practitioners or something. Or something this karmic doing. Yeah. Collective, you don't always party play games. You don't want to be more than friends with this karmic. Yeah.
Yeah. So collective, y'all could be the eight of cups. Hey, somebody getting tired of this karmic. You're not always partying. You're not always playing games. Or collective, something that the karmic is doing like in a very childish way. You don't like it because you know it's something serious. So this is like, collective, say like you older or you're a teacher and this karmic is like 17. And this karmic flirts with you at school. It's like collective, you're not playing around with this karmic because of your position. So you might tell on this karmic or something. Something I'm giving that for an example. This karmic, the page. And collective, you're not playing. You're not losing your job because this karmic is like flirting with you or something at school or something. Yeah, somebody don't want to be more than friends with this karmic. Or this karmic going around telling people that y'all slept together and it's not true. Or something this karmic doing. Or collective, be careful about this karmic wanting your phone number. It's like collective, this karmic just wants your phone number. So they can show proof that you guys are in contact. But the karmic go back and lie to people about what you guys were talking about or something. Because the karmic got hidden agendas. Maybe this karmic want people to think y'all dating and y'all really not. Or something. Or something. Or collective, you was a part of like a gang stalking campaign with this karmic. And you don't want to gang stalk with this karmic or for this karmic. You don't want to do it no more. Or something. I also see the karmic could be a female and that eight of cups could be a man. And this man wanted to have sex with this karmic. And since the karmic won't have sex with him, this man not gang stalking for this karmic no more. So I don't know who they was watching. But this man like, no, nah, you ain't, you not paying me to um, gang stalk this person. You won't have sex with me. I'm not gang stalking nobody for free. So that eight of cups could be a man. This man like, no, nah, you won't give me something. Or something. It's like this karmic be put put a spell on this man. This spell not working. Because this man want money or he wants sex. And this karmic thinking the spell won't work. Mm -mm. This man like, uh-uh. I'm not gang stalking nobody for you. You gonna have to pay me money. Or you gotta, we have to, we have to have sex or something. So that eight of cups energy could be a man as well. And this karmic thinking if they put a spell on somebody that's gonna work. Uh-uh. Not with that eight of cups energy. Or the karmic spell work wearing off on somebody. Yep. Something like that. But I don't know. Yeah. This karmic crazy. Yeah. So I'm going to end it. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, collective, enjoy the week and thanks.